गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विद द टॉपिक दैट नॉर्मली वी डोंट डू वी नॉर्मली डोंट डिस्कस अबाउट द मैनिफेस्टो ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल पार्टी बट द रीज़न वाई वी आर डूइंग दिस टाइम एंड नॉर्मली ट्यूजडे इज स्कड्यूल फॉर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर बट दर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिमांड फ्रॉम कस्टमर्स लाइक यू वॉन्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द मेजर टेक अवेज from the bjp manifesto and there is one thing which market seems to have believe not only market even the some of the experts that bjp is going to form the next government and if that's going to do if that's going to happen what are the reforms this government is going to carry out in the next 5 years if you go back to the manifesto of bjp government uh, bjp uh, party they talk about ayodhya it happened they talk about scraping of article 370 that happened so somewhere there is a belief that if government is going to bjp is going to say what they intend to do in next 5 years probability is very high that it will happen but we are not going to talk about what is more about the political this when we are going to talk more about if bjp does form a government and they do implement what the manifesto talks about what are the sectors that going to benefit from that and i think that in a way, if we can catch those sectors in advance maybe you can see a substantial gain in your portfolio and that's the reason and of course as you know that this markets mojo group believes in listening to our customers suggestions and advice and many of you wrote to us saying that why don't we cover this the manifesto got covered what declared during the weekend and i'm in front of yesterday karan was there in front of you so i did not want to disturb that schedule so today i thought let me come in front of you and discuss about it remember this is purely based on what bjp manifesto talks about if they don't implement those then there is a risk that the thing that i'm going to discuss about is not going to play out probability is very very high that that's going to happen there is one good thing about this manifesto of course i have not gone through congress and other party so i will not be able to make comment but whatever i read in the in the in the media the bjp manifesto is one good thing they are not talking about free me ye de dunga free me wo de dunga that manifesto is more talks about their vision to take india to the developed economy and i'm i'm, I'm and by some of the statement when i read in manifesto i was surprised with that see pehle to soch hi nahi hai koi sochne ki हिम्मत रखता है दैट इज अ कमेंडेबल एंड आई लेट मी गिव वन एग्जांपल ऑफ दैट द बीजेपी मैनिफेस्टो ऑफ कोर्स आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इन दैट माय प्रेजेंटेशन आल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट मेकिंग एन अटेम टू मैन्युफैक्चर पैसेंजर एयरप्लेन वेरी फ्यू कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड हैज बीन एबल टू डू द वेरी फ्यू कंट्रीज ऑफकोर्स दैट मैटर has been able to land on moon and we are also talking about landing human being on the moon so i think this is what basically you know first thing you need to think before you can implement it am i right kabhi aap implement kar think nahi kar sakte na i think the thought process itself is a commendable so that's why i have lot of uh, this can if this is what going to happen if they are able to actually do it india will definitely going to do extremely well but before i uh, and remember this is not a political statement don't get construed that i'm anyway propagating one party over another party uh, that's not my job that's not what i intend to do here i'm just telling you what are the major highlights of the bjp manifesto if this is going to happen if they are going to roll out what they've said in next 5 years then you 
can get the benefit of first more advantage or early more advantage to get into those sectors to create wealth of course ultimately stock selection also plays an important role but that's what uh, i my job is to guide you but before i begin my presentation just a small disclaimer that this presentation is only for an education purpose please consult your financial advisor before buying selling any stock please note that investment in securities market are subject to market risk and past performance is no indicator of future returns now before i begin i know uh, that uh, we had a very grand uh, 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 temple uh, opening at at ayodhya in january tomorrow is a ram navmi and i want to pray and i wish to everyone a happy ram navmi and now let me start with the bjp manifesto so i've gone through its its runs into about 78 page or so the complete manifesto and i had to go through in detail Uh, to understand what it basically and of course I, this is just a highlights i am not claiming uh, that this is replica of what basically i have only taken the highlights what it basically wants to say so one thing which really basically i think somewhere you know if you start giving one one program which is a free it's very difficult to take away that program from the the consumer because i can backfire you in the election and that's that's exactly what is this free ration scheme that has been started during covid time i think bjp wants to continue for next 5 years free ration card under pm garib kalyan anna yojana for next 5 years that's the only thing which i thought is little populist in measure and then it talks about how india could be a viksit bharat in by 2047 so what it wants to do we all know that india has to import a lot of oil seeds lot of pulses and we spend lot of money on that and government also wants to ensure that our focus on producing more than wheat and rice basically we definitely can do uh, divert that to more pulses that will make india atmanirbhar and that's why the government wants to focus more on pulses like tur urad masur moong chana you can search for this name in english if you wish to google search and edible oil production like mustard uh, uh, soya bean til that is nothing but sesame and groundnut groundnut is nothing but singdana gujarati mein log singdana bolta i don't know what you call in hindi but that's the thing it also talk about continuous increase in msp for the farmers for the agri produce from time to time it is not committed what percentage how it would be done the good thing is that government wants to do is that it wants to create an agri infrastructure for cold storage and food processing i think government wants to focus too much and will be focusing on that's what the the bjp i, I so whenever i say government please assume that i'm referring to bjp manifesto please pardon me if there is a slip of tongue from my side the bjp wants to basically if they come to power again in 2024 they want to make lot of focus on food processing how can we move from value chain to the upper within the food processing and who will get benefit of that the farmer they want to triple income of farmers and i think that's one of the way we can do that they call talked about multiple uh, crops in a in a year and so on and so forth water i wanted to cover upfront why because we do, do know that the city like bangalore do suffer from the water crisis in fact bombay is not very far behind so is the case with delhi and so is the case with uh, 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 kolkata and so on and so forth but i think that's where the government wants to basically use of technology to reduce wastage of water and i think that's we we'll waste lot of water knowingly or unknowingly am i right and the government wants to uh, use technology ke how we can use the, uh, this one so one is that you conserve water you water harvesting and so on and so forth but second thing reducing wastage of water is equally important and i think government wants to the you you can rest assured in next 5 years if this bjp comes back to the power 
they are going to spend a huge amount of resources because they anyway have a mission for har ghar jal and that's possible only when we reduce and that's why the technology see the the word they use is use of technology and that will open up lot of ecosystems of using technology to reduce the wastage of water very simple thing flushing of water in our washroom can we use the technology which can reduce the 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 uh, the water and still do the job it is supposed to do or can the technology can come up uh, you know which basically depending upon the need adjust the flow of the uh, uh, the the water from the uh, the tap i'm just giving an example and so and so forth i think that's where the government will or sometimes you know like the way we have a sensors nowadays in our offices and home that if the person is not there auto gets switched off am i right the same way there could be of course do we do we do have a sensors on a uh, if you go to the restaurants or a or a mall or something or movie where there are sensors where you know when you put your hand towards the sensor it will start uh, throwing the water out the moment you remove the hand it will stop can that also be applied during shower can that also be applied during i'm just thinking aloud i think government wants to do that second thing waste water treatment and i think that's where huge opportunity some of the companies are listed in the space in this water waste water treatment huge opportunity there aquifer recharge i think government wants to do that and smart water meters the way we have smart electricity meter i think government wants to use smart water meters for the bulk users not for residents but for the bulk users and i think that's that's a good opportunity that will open up housing and that's a very so if you look at it like we all know that mumbai has a biggest uh, asia ka sabse bada slums bolta hai dhara bhi and that's going for the redevelopment now that's one so i think government wants to now will want to when i say government again it's a bjp in its manifesto has said that they want to do re- slum redevelopment to construct the houses for low income families so they want to basically ensure that so you can expect lot of government action on that front in the various parts of the country of course this is more of a state subject level also and even they also want to discuss with the state governments how registration cost can come down how construction cost can come down there are a lot of uh, you know expenses that goes to the uh, permissions and so on so for registration if you invest in equity market the player like zurada will charge you zero brokerage your estate is 0.1% on the equity and there is a stamp duty of 0.01% or something am i right but in city like mumbai the brokerage is normally 1% of the deal value 1% the stamp duty is a 5% or uh, and then the registration fees of 1% so on and so forth how can we that's on real estate i'm going on how can we reduce so, so that basically by reducing that you reduce the purchasing cost of that property real estate property making it more affordable to the aam aadmi so this government they wanted they they, they came out with the rera i think they want to further enhance the rera and at the same time they want to ensure that registration cost and construction cost comes down of course i'll come on the land part also a little later pharmaceutical so india want to be the pharmacy of the world and we want to strengthen that position again so government in the in the in the coming when i say government again bjp wants to focus too much on the api which is a critical component in the complete value chain what is api stands for active pharmaceutical ingredients and government to going forward if bjp comes back to the power they are going to focus too much on api a lot of api we need to import from the china government want to be the atmanirbhar there also and of course focusing on eliminating cervical cancer i think this one danger that we don't realize uh, uh, which is there and normally each and every female member supposed to take a vaccine for the cervical cancer and, and it doesn't cost you much if my sense is right it is in cost you about 2 and 1/2000 
and we are supposed to take two or three uh, 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 doses of vaccine. Government want to focus on cervical cancer because a lot of uh, uh, female do go through this uh, problem, uh, and government want to focus on that infrastructure. And when you read this manifesto, I think this government, uh, this BJP wants to tackle infrastructure in a very holistic manner. Whether it's a port, whether it's a road, whether it's a railway, whether it's an airport, it wants to connect various aspects of infrastructure. See this China plus one policy, if India is to really give tough competition to the China, we don't have a choice but to improve our infrastructure. Otherwise, it will remain only on the paper. China plus one kabhi nahi hoga. We have to spend money on infrastructure. Government is committed to That's what the, the interim budget also took out 11 lakh crore. What it want to do? Modern road networks. Modern. Expanding rail and metro connectivity. New age trains. See, I think this government talks about things which has not been talked in the past. Previous people did talk about it, government hardly implemented. There will be more airports coming in. You can imagine like Mumbai will have another airport coming in very soon near Navi Mumbai. Delhi will have somewhere near Jawar or something. I am making a mistake or something. But do expect that. Telecom infrastructure from affordable 5G we are talking about 6G. Construction of ring roads to decongest the major cities. Land record digitization. I think that's a very, very big that will make the process of setting infrastructure much easier. India wants to be the global manufacturing hub. Global manufacturing hub. Ek jamana tha, almost each and every mobile phone that we used to use was imported. Today, the 99% of the mobile that you use in India are made in India. Are you aware about that? And that's not what I'm saying. Today, in the Times of India, there is a half page ad on the first page by from the some association of telecom mobile manufacturer only. They've talked about it. So what we used to import, now we are exporting mobile phones from India. That's where I think it's a very so government of India has a certain ambition, ambitious target. 17% of our GDP comes from the manufacturing. The GDP will expand. And the sale of manufacturing will go to 25%. So you can imagine you are going to get larger sale of manufacturing. That's what they want to do it in the manufacturing. I think the 17 to 25 is almost 50% additional. Why? 17 of 150, 17 ka 1.5% 1 is, 1.5x is 25%. So larger GDP ka larger percentage. Huge scope in manufacturing. And if you go to that manifesto, everywhere they talked about. I'll come to railway and you'll be surprised to know that, you know, what we want to do that. And another infrastructure, free electricity through scheme of PM Surya Gharia, PM Surya Ghar, Surya Ghar Muft Bijli Yojana. They are not talking about free power. Like, because who is going to bear the cost? I have been informed that in Punjab, and I, I may be making a mistake there, but more than 50-60% of the, the government revenue only goes to meet the power expenses. Development kaha pe hoga? Or ek baar apne muf ki adat dal di, it's very difficult to change that adat. Tourism. You see, if you look at again, this government, this manifesto talks about tourism in a big manner. Infrastructure, tourism, pharma, uh, defense, railway, 
these are the themes that are going to play out if the BJP comes back to power. Tourism is to be the focus area. And that they mention about, you know, religious tourism. I have not been to Kasi Veswanath of late. I've been to twice. Uh, once I went to Singroli, uh, I had, had to, I had basically, uh, uh, so I, I landed at Varanasi and from Varanasi I went to Singroli to look at the coal mine of uh, Coal India. At the time of they came out with an IPO. And I once again went, one, once again in Varanasi, I don't know when I'd been again. And that time I happened to visit Kasi Viswanath Temple, which is a very narrow line and so on and so forth. But they become a corridor. They made, basically made a nice kind of a tourism, attractive tourism actually. I've been to uh, Bahakal recently in Ujjain. And I had gone to this place, uh, Mahakal Temple, almost uh, 15 years back or so. And I could not believe myself when I visited uh, in 2023. Completely transformed that place. I think that's what the government wants to do that. And of course, where in India to be promoted. Not only, uh, you know, people used to go outside to the exotic uh, destination for the wedding. The government wants people to preserve the forex and at the same time give job creation for the tourism. There's one more thing which I could make a sense. I don't know whether that's my understanding is that the government can basically attract foreign tourists to enjoy the Indian wedding and you pay for that. So you come, you go through the rituals because India is a very rich and very uh, uh, three days, four days kind of an event that takes place, you know, from Mandi, Sangeet, Bharat, and you know what not. Uh, and 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 you know, it could be also become a as an event for the like the way. I don't know you people are aware, but a lot of foreign tourists comes to see Holi in India. How Holi is celebrated in the northern part of India. Many foreign tourists comes. Am I right? Same way. This government, the, sorry, when I say government, BJP can promote wedding as a as an event for foreign tourists to come and experience our culture and our heritage. So that's very much possible. Railway, I think government talk, want to expand metro network. Huge scope, those who are supplying uh, 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 to the servicing to the metro, whether it's a coaches, whether it's a signaling system, whether it's anything else bullet trains. So right now bullet trains are under construction as you all know that from Bombay to Abdabad. This BJP wants to now also explore feasibility of bullet trains in North, South and East India. Very, very. But then a soch And that's a very good thing. No one thought about bullet trains. At least we are talking. Super app. For the old trade related services, I don't know whether it's, uh, it's going to sit in ICTC or not. If it is not, it could be a problem for ICTC. But government, the, not the government, the BJP wants to have a super app for all trade related services under one app. That's a very good thing. And of course, another big statement, India wants to be the global railway manufacturing hub. In other words, India could be an exporter of coaches, uh, a signaling system that covers that that uh, you know which will uh, prohibit uh, the collision of the trains and so and so forth. That's the thing. It's a very big statement. Okay, we did in defense. We started exporting and we are successful now. Something government. So not only it's going to open up the so demand for the railway related business is going to be very strong in India. It's also going to open up a lot of opportunities outside India also. So very big, again, very big statement, energy independence. And I think that's a very big step that government wants to do it. Am I right? 2024-7, we need to be Atma Dirbar, okay, uh, by reducing, okay, uh, Atma Dirbar on petroleum imports through EV, Renewable energy, 
improving energy efficiency i think energy efficiency is going to be a big play so you know every year government keeps coming out with a more and more efficient uh, appliances so on and so forth right now government did come out with the restriction on how much sugar can be diverted to the ethanol but government wants to basically in the manifesto they did have to talk about ethanol blending program development for comprehensive ev charging and i think government again in the not the government the bjp again said in the manifesto that a uh, time and again that they want to have ev as a, uh, a name of the game so those companies which are focusing on ev charging i think they are going to do extremely well if bjp comes back to the power and of course pipe gas to all major cities and towns which has been which will in a way also helps you reduce the subsidy on the lpg number 1 number 2 uh, it makes life easy uh, in terms of uh, this one and i think government eventually uh, will see that lot of cities get do covered with the png so that also offer of open opens up lot of opportunity those who are manufactured pipe to transmit gas to the pipes you know so i think that's another opportunity that we need to take defense not only the export of defense but there are many items that india basically imports they want to manufacture in india okay and another good thing which of course there's nothing to do with the defense but that's a very good thing india will develop its own passenger aircraft again a very bold statement very this one litigation the reason i wanted to cover that because i think it implemented a uniform civil code that nothing to do with the sector but there's something but national litigation policy to expedite the resolution of pending cases where government is a party wherever government is a party i think the, see today one of the ease of doing business is a litigation in india ek koi bhi you know you don't want to take anyone to the court but the kon janjhat karega 5 saal 10 saal lag jayenge you know and people are little reluctant to do that but if we can make that complete process quick and fast i think people the ease of doing business in india's ranking on that can go up okay and another good thing is the complete digitization of the records so that they could be e court that will happen like lot of now i've been informed that lot of uh, i think consumer court i think is going 100% now through uh, uh, e courts only you don't have to go physically appeal that saves time that it brings in efficiency and once you digitize everything it becomes easy to refer to the records and the judgment education one student one more iims and iit that what we need because uh, ultimately if india has to be the global manufacturing of a global service standard we need more iims students coming from iims and aims and, and and iits to do that and of course electronics manufacturing with a high focus on value chain and in india to be the large okay diamond hira hai sada ke liye so somewhere this government will come out with the policy uh, not when i say government bjp will to promote lab grown diamonds so eventually those who are into natural diamonds their demand will come down there is a huge gap i have been informed that uh, the the one credit good quality diamond the natural diamond will cost you about 6 to 7 lakhs the same lab grown diamond cost you about 50000 india imports diamond we don't produce diamonds but lab grown you can produce in india again the focus on safe reliance reducing the import uh, bill that will help to make a rupee stronger now let to summarize what this uh, uh, bjp manifesto talks about it wants to take india this is what prime minister modi stated in the manifesto to take india next phase in the top three economies in the world so from 2024 to 2029 it we are india would be the top among top 3 global economies in the world launch final and decisive assault on the against the poverty i think the government will uh, uh, look at how we can lift population out of the poverty so that's a final and decisive and i think this is a more important word i want to focus on open up new avenues for growth in various sectors i think that's where government will do lot of reforms uh which will be next generation to open up various sectors so i think this is not going to re- restrict to the traditional sectors only there will be more opportunity more eco uh, uh more ecosystem for the startups and so on and so forth 
further intensify our better luggage corruption i think they said that in the manifesto will also honor the honest tax payers now will there be another demon kind of a stuff possibility is very high because if that's what the government say of course the it's a debatable whether the demon really uh, 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 remove the corruption or not but that's what it wants to do and want to take lot of pro people decision and actions that's what the this is i know some of you make think that this is all uh, whether bjp comes to power or not that's a question mark so why are we talking in jumping the gun we could have done this webinar post the outcome the only danger is that then if the whole world will talks about and those to check this side those sectors today if you are smart enough to understand which sector is going to do well and if you take an exposure maybe you have an early advantage early more advantage to move into that sector but anyway i'll be more than happy to receive your opinion suggestion and most prob- important criticism in case if you have anything on this presentation well, let's open the floor amil pele wo sawal lo jahan pe मोर ये अपने मैनिफेस्टो रिलेटेड है वेन मार्केट इज हेडेड फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट साउथ और नॉर्थ सर मोदी सर वी आपका भी मोदी सर ने में वाह तो सर वी बिलीव दैट मार्केट लुक्स लिटिल चैलेंजिंग एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वैल्यूस इज वन पार्ट जियो पोलिटिकल टेंशन इज अनदर पार्ट एंड दैट विल कीप द वैल्यूस इज इन द चेक इन द सेंस मार्केट विल अंडर चेक सो we don't expect major rally at this point of time in our pms since we expecting uh, market to remain at a volatile we move to the large cap almost 90% of our exposure in large cap so we do expect market to remain volatile at least for next couple of months so don't expect upside that we are more downward bias at this point of time than the upward bias uh hakale sir is saying will the manifesto necessitate a change in mm portfolio due to federal sectors so our ip will take care of that so as you know that our ip uh, does not take into concern any future events am i right to but as the as the data comes in as the uh, uh, the things happen as the results improve it will get start reflecting in the mm portfolio do you need to make any changes right now answer is no just follow our advice in a disciplined manner uh uh our uh, pk said is saying the government intends to spend more money in infrastructure more you spend the more they get the cost they spend is 2x will this not escalate inflation the business is feeling that they have legalized protection money is by sending education ed if you don't throw their line also trying to control judicial appointments and thus fair play is questionable so said sir i think uh, i don't know whether I'll, that you know they spend 2x uh, and they get uh, the more you get i don't know whether how far the statement is right or wrong i don't want to go and, and debate on that because these are all uh, you know personal belief in this but i always believe one thing assume what you are saying is right say it's a samajh lo what you are saying is right i can tell you that infrastructure brings in completely do new kind of an opportunity for every people in the society i'll give you a very simple example bombay pune express highway i don't know uh, you have seen that because the bombay pune express highway highway ban ke to 15 20 saal ho gaya but the complete ecosystem got developed due to that is tremendous now there are cities have been the the, the have been developed based on that hotels have come up uh, restaurants have come up because of that the the tech cap services have opened so you know infrastructure creates like for example single metro aap le lijiye samajh lo aap bolta corruption hai us par 2x kar diya that's what you mean to say am i right the cost but it creates the 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 power of that uh, uh, the infrastructure there was one study which said that if you spend 1 rupee on infrastructure the benefit is 7x of that because of that and the dividend gets ripped 
not in one year, two years, but many more years to come. On the contrary, it reduces your. Just to give an example, if you construct a better roads, a truck which would take from place A to place B, twenty-four hours, if the road is not good, and if you construct a good road. It will take only six to seven hours. Does it reduce your cost or does it increase your cost? On the contrary, reduce your cost. The turnaround time for that truck from place A to B will increase many fold. You will sweat that assets many more time. I'll give classical example. A cousin of mine used to work in one of the plastic molding company in Boisar. and i happened to visit him because uh, not because he is my cousin i was visiting but the 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 promoter of the company wanted me to visit that factory from andheri where my office was we started at 10 in the morning on october 2025 years back i reached boiser at 6 in the evening that was the kind of infrastructure i'm talking about and andheri to boiser maybe what 100 km not more than that There was only two-lane highway, and something went wrong, and this and so on and so forth. Today, people reach from Bombay to Ahmedabad in that time. I'm, are you getting what I'm trying to say? So infrastructure, the same way port, the same way, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 the metro and so on and so forth. So yes, does it increase inflation? I doubt. In fact, on the contrary, it will help to reduce the inflation. And I must tell you that if you look at the money that has been spent be before and now the india's inflation is quite reasonable as compared to the global if you look at it india is though like when the us would have one or two percent inflation india would have been double digits today the delta between the india inflation and the us inflation is hardly anything despite spending money used money on infrastructure so hence to say that inflation is going to go up because of this i don't think there is an empirical evidence which suggests that Uh, business filling uh, has the delta. Protection needs to be standing. Ed, if you don't toe the line, I don't know, sir. Whether uh, you know, uh, it's a more political subject matter. Whether uh, Ed has been, uh, you know, uh, if you pay the money, the Ed will not take action and so on and so forth. If it never has happened in some cases, we have seen businesses thriving. So if you look at one of the biggest. Okay, in last ten years, which group has gained the maximum market cap? Would be Tata Group. Have they been? Have they gone? Uh, has ED inquiries happened? Ambani's have grown. In fact, I happened to meet. Uh, you know, uh, so we had this Baisakhi uh, dinner in our society, in the restaurant. So the where I stay, the CFO of Hindustan Unilever also stays in the so uh, in the same this one, and I happen to know uh, his wife because we I was organizing one Diwali event and she also participated in that. But I did not know this gentleman CFO, and since I said hi to his wife, he also came and while he was leaving and I was going in with my family, we introduce each other, okay, and I was making a statement to him. Arey Hindustan Unilever का price नहीं बढ़ा. बोलते हैं सुनिल यू आर wrong. His name is Rajiv uh, 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 Tiwari. So he said, "Sudhil, ten years back, the Hindustan Unilever was one lakh crore market cap. Today is a six lakh crore market cap, and I was came as surprise to me also. In fact, very honest with you, did Hindustan Unilever did not grow? Kya uspe idi a gaya? Nestle ko idi a gaya?" So you know, we somehow basically want to pick up few examples, and then basically highlight that. That's not the way. Today, India has become an exporter of mobile phones. Is it because of ED? So I'm not very sure. You know, the fair play is questionable. I doubt, sir. I I don't. I beg to differ with you. You may be right. I may be ill-informed. That may be a story. But I would agree to disagree on this point. Sainy Anthony saying, "Why on the earth you want to jump in the jump in the gun?" 
Are you already confirmed BJP won the election? So you don't want us to vote? This is insane and don't be mouthpiece for any political party. You guys are really let me down. Why, why should you discuss somebody's manifesto? I'm going to quit your membership. There are many doing better service than you. You run the BJP or any other party. I'm not party to it now. Anthony, sir. This is a democratic country. It's good to have a differences of opinion. Are we saying that, uh, are you already confirmed that BJP won the election? If you listen to my remarks, and it will be available on YouTube, please listen to it. If BJP comes to power, that's what my statement now and again. Now assume that, you know, Confirm the Kushbi no the election may. But if you look at some of the the survey that has been done, which clearly says that BJP is likely to form the government. One of the biggest critics of Modi government has been the economist. Even they claim that BJP is likely to form the next government. So, I understand we may have a political difference, sir. And hence, uh, there could be a, this one. We are not a party to anyone. We are not a mouthpiece for anyone. We are saying, in case if that's going to happen, if BJP is going to form the government, you as an investor have an opportunity to make money. We are not the only one who is basically dissecting this manifesto and giving you what could be the sector that could do well. Now, if you think, uh, you know, uh, many are doing better service than you, I'm very happy, sir, that many are doing better service than us. And I wish them also all the best and I wish you also the all the best. Don't get too much emotional about it. We are here to create wealth. Am I right? By you may like, you may not dislike some political party. That's individual choice. That's a democratic country. Fair enough. But when the information is available, and if that helps you to in the wealth creation, might as well. You go and vote against whoever, whatever, whatever party you want to vote. I am nobody to tell you. I am nobody to tell you that. But if that if BJP is going to come, that's again say if, then these are will be the focus area for the government. And if that is so, how that information you can help to create wealth for yourself. Ultimately, it is your money. If you create good wealth, it will benefit you, not me. I wish you all the best, sir. Uh, Jacob Jones, it is good we are doing BJP manifesto analysis because the market based BJP will come back. It is, is it, it, it is still a high probability. What type of, if opposition alliance wins through the low probability, any view on winners and losers if that happens? See, today, I think, uh, and that's a fair question, Jacob, sir. Suppose that BJP does not form the government, okay? Then we need to really think. What is the common and minimum program of that alliance party? Because no single political party will get the majority. Am I right? Every political party is a different manifesto. So they need to come out with a common minimum program. And once we go through with that common, common minimum program, then we will be able to understand who will be the winner and who will be the loser in terms of the sector. Uh, if the opposition, if the, if the, if other than BJP comes to the power. So it's too premature to make a this because Congress has come out with the manifesto, but it's not that because Congress is unlikely to get on its own their own to form the government. Unlikely. Again, that's a possibility. If that happens, again, you will say, Are, ye ho gaya pan. today it doesn't look like. In politics, everything is possible. Even one day is a too long a period in politics. 
सो आई थिंक दिल बी मोन के कॉमन टूडे वी डोंट नो हु इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इफ ऑपोजिशन कम्स टू पावर वी डोंट नो हु इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर फेस डू यू नो सर नो वन नोज एक्चुअली इवन दे डोंट नो दैम सेल्व ऑल्सो कि वुल बी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर कैंडिडेट तो आई थिंक एन अगेन कॉमन मिनियम प्रोग्राम वो विल द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर वो विल द इट्स ऑल एंड डिफरेंट पोलिटिकल पार्टी विल है डिफरेंट एजेंडा टू टेक केयर ऑफ दैट एम आई राइट बिकॉज दे ओल्ड ऑल्सो वे रिजनल इंटरेस्ट टू टेक केयर ऑफ दैट सो वी नीड टू वेट एंड वॉच तो वुल बी द सी आई मस्ट टेल यू फॉर सम रीजन बीजेपी इज अनेबल टू रिटेन द पावर मार्केट विल क्रैक डाउन वेरी सब्सटेंशियली and and at that point of time the immediate reaction would be knee jerk reaction the market will be down and then depending upon who form the government what is the common minimum program what will the focus area i think then we need to revisit the strategy in terms of the sectors i am happy that uh, lot of uh, interesting questions are coming and that really makes uh the question answer very interesting i'm happy and thank you everyone because that really makes uh, uh, uh you know more uh, a lively uh, a question answer session yeah anil nambia sir today market also speaks to favor bijay like all the bias medline media and never talk about all unemployment price hike the way they have taken all the corrupt politicians from various party to their four instead of putting them behind the bar so nambia sir that's a political debate Uh, we are not here to वो अच्छा किया खराब किया we are saying in case BJP is able to form the government next government which are the sectors that's going to get the benefit see don't get confused the the wealth creation opportunity with the political view you may I may subscribe to a political view I may not subscribe to a political view what we are saying that irrespective of the political view do we see an wealth creation opportunity and if yes might as well do that there are many things which has been discussed in the manifesto i have not touched upon only that because that's more in a political nature why should we discuss about that so you know we only look at the sectors that could benefit whether it's in infra whether it's in ev charging whether it's a metro whether it's a railway whether it's a agri produce in terms of coal storage and so on and so forth am i right uh, more iams more iits okay more education uh, electronics value added items uh, you know so this is what we talk about that scopes opens up an opportunity to you as an investor then it gives an insights about okay, which sector can likely to be benefit of that that's the only thing some of your observation uh, bias mainline media they are bias so media was bias 20 years back also i have spent i was an editor of panaji greater for the last year innovation journal i am also still a member of press club bombay so media was bias media is bias media will be bias because we are all human beings am i right so to to chalne wala hai wo to rehne wala hai what we need to say see by going with your assumption sir then we should not be investing only in the stock market am i right but wo to hai to we know the system mein corruption hai sab kuch hai our job is that having said that can i create a wealth in a legal manner by following an investment process where i know that this sector is likely to do well because of this policy action should i take benefit of that or not that's the simple this one so our job nabia sir is just to help you to guide the choice is yours you don't listen to me we are not forcing anyone ke boss humne bola aapko karna hai we are coming in front of you to explain you which sectors will benefit if you don't subscribe to my views please don't invest in any of the sectors do what you gives our job is to guide you we may be wrong also we can be 100% wrong also that's why i said please consult your financial advisor before buying and selling anything am i right so we be wrong we are just giving you uh, what we believe can benefit from the sector then we are giving you you have no compulsion to follow what we are saying do what you believe is the right sir namya sir is perfectly fine with us uh ratvik sir is saying amistad internet is getting too much if we 
feels any other party is going to win, you may invest as per the party's agenda. Perfectly right, sir. That's what we are saying. Uh, you know, it's a democratic country. Everyone has a right. Please go and vote, whichever party you want to vote. Okay, but please go out and vote because 19th April, the first uh, phase of election is going to do well. And whichever party you believe, yeah, this is right. आपको लगता है ये पार्टी है ना उसके एजेंडा से जगह ना वहाँ से इन्वेस्ट कीजिए. But I am saying wealth creation is an opportunity. Don't miss out on the wealth creation. Whatever you feel right, do that way. That's what the point is. Raj, uh, Sunil Bhai, I am uh, uh, an RN on my recent visit to India. I saw huge crowds everywhere. Beat airports, lounge, restaurants, hotels. Everything was busy. But at the same time, people were saying that while. White collar jobs are scarce. The blue collar jobs are plenty, but not easy to find workers as they are getting lot of freebies from the government. How do we read this? So, you know that's one of the reasons I think uh, 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 it's not easy to find workers uh, uh, because freebies are government, and I'm not very sure if that was the case. Uh, you know this data which is available on the. On that EPFO side, uh, would have contradicted that because the number of people who are getting enrolled into that EPFO, that is uh, Employee Provident Fund ka organisation, I think is increasing. But my worry is this, you know, I'll tell you very frankly, Rajji. If you look at the city like Bombay, for example, was what that matter Delhi and other major cities, the states like UP and Bihar. Other labor, whether it's labor supplier or the other labor supplier. For example, my driver, he's from uh, UP. Am I right? And in 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 Bombay, eighty percent of the drivers would be from UP or Bihar. Most of eighty percent of them, basically. If you go to any uh, 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 office, also most of the this one will be from UP. If you look at the security guard, many of them would be from UP and Bihar. My worry is this: I was discussing someone on a, this one. If UP and Bihar is going to grow, the way they intend to grow, where more tourism, more factories, more this one happen to going to happen, the migration of labor from places like this to major city will come down. That's going to create a major scarcity, and because of the demand supply. The price of this will go up because you will not be able to uh, get the the labor at the low cost. Like your driver uh, will not be able to. Uh, 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 you need to pay higher to get because वो आदमी नहीं आएगा वहाँ पे. So more demand, uh, uh, less supply is going to create. The people coming in your house to work, or your security man and so on and so forth, the price is going to go up and that's going to be more inflationary in nature. That's what my Uh, 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 what is that? If the, because ultimately, if you look at it, UP and Bihar is the biggest supplier of labor uh, across the country. Whether you go to Gujarat and Surat Textile, you will see that. In fact, I uh, I was talking to someone uh, who has a factory in Tirupur. Well, the Sunil sir, आदमी नहीं मिलता है. Now, is it because of freebies? I don't know. Uh, whether it's because of freebies or, or is it because of uh, you know generally there is a more demand in their local place. So then, if that is so, why do you want to come down and and work in a city like Bombay, where the the standard of living is very very high? You know, cost of living, not standard of living. Sorry, I stand by by beg your pardon. The cost of living is very very high. So do you want to do that? So maybe that could be the reason. So I think it's a more complex subject, sir. We can't basically attribute that to uh, you know because of freebies, uh, 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 blue collar jobs are uh, plenty, but not easy to find workers. Maybe. The local uh, economy must be doing well, and that's the thing. But remember, I have jotted down my words. In five years, there will be the lost less people will be migrating from UP and Bihar purely because of the development that's going to take place in those states. Okay, Badri Nayan said, if by any chance BJP lose, what sector will be attracted by the Congress manifesto? So let me be very honest with you. Uh, I have not gone through the Congress manifesto, and the reason I'll explain you why. Logical reasoning, because there is a very slim probability. 
आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी सीट्स कांग्रेस इज फाइटिंग ऑल्सो आउट ऑफ फाइव फोर्टी फोर सीट्स हाउ मेनी सीट्स कांग्रेस इज फाइटिंग एंड इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन रिमाइंड मी विल डू दैट एनालिसिस दैट हाउ मेनी सीट्स बिकॉज दे ऑल्सो गिविंग नंबर ऑफ सीट्स टू द अलायंस पार्टनर्स ऑल्सो एम राइट so it's a, it will be very interesting it's a good question but then i answer i don't think it many place even they have been able to finalize the candidate also let's be very honest with you so we don't know how many places congress actually fighting and same way bjp is fighting because they are also basically talking there to their alliance but assume that bjp loses it's a very unlikely situation that congress on its own will be able to form the government and if congress is not able to form on its own they would need to take the alliance partners on board and that's where even if congress want to implement his manifesto it will not be able to implement why because various political parties will also have their own manifesto they need to come out with a minimum common program that they call it in a, a political language and that's where the bjp congress manifesto will have no meaning so it's all depending upon who uh, uh, basically gets how many seats what weightage they carry and so on and so forth and that's how is going to get decided if you remember a very famous speech of manmohan singh in the parliament where the nuclear deal if you remember uh, manmohan singh want to and left was against it and they withdrew the support uh, uh, to the to the congress government i don't know whether you are aware about that uh, news or not somewhere in 2000 uh, uh eight or nine uh, google search and that you will come to know so sometimes you want to do but you can't do it because your alliance partner will not allow you to do that am i right so that wo bolta hai coalition compulsions will come into uh, picture and hence congress manifesto has no meaning so you can't take investment is then right now based on congress manifesto then you need to take a investment is based on the common minimum program that alliance partners will make to understand that uh could had it sorry saying please give me immense pleasure to watch your videos as we make money could you please focus on the ongoing war between israel and iraq if it worsens so yes that's a geopolitical risk that we do uh, uh, have right now and that's why i said that our view on the market right now is little downward bias situation is volatile if it happens probably it very high that market sentiment will take a beating temporarily uh, why i am saying temporarily because we have observed that all geopolitical tension does not create a very long term negative impact whether it was ukraine versus russia whether israel versus hamas and now israel versus iran i think both the a country understand that there are risk and is it going to result into third world war probability is very very low but having said that i have gone wrong with israel and ukraine war i thought thought it will never happen it did happen am i right so but uh, you know it's it's it's, it's a, i think it's a developing uh, event right now our sense is that and i could be 100% wrong okay i can go 100% wrong right now our sense is that uh, uh, the situation is volatile uh and hence uh, it will keep market under check so don't expect too much price appreciation in the near term and market will definitely watch israel and iran uh, uh, what they do and how they are going to retaliate against each other bangaria sunil ji you have mentioned that in india we are using mobiles manufactured in india but there is a criticism that only assembly is taking place in india with this pretext only claiming pl what is your comment you are right so somewhere you need to start pehle to kuch nahi banta tha na abhi to assembly to ho raha hai hindustan mein and you are absolutely i think that's why the government if you look at that the government wants to keep moving in the value chain and that's going to happen uh, very soon so see uh, you can't basically start manufacturing 100% in house because you need to create a complete ecosystem so first thing you there should be basics should be there and then you keep moving up in the value chain to keep making that uh, 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 what we call this one to so yeah right it's only assembly taking place eventually we will start making components then some components then some components and eventually because it's ecosystem to build ecosystem you need to start somewhere you can't have 
कि हंड्रेड परसेंट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल मारुति फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई डोंट नो वेदर यू आर अवेल अबाउट इज अ क्लासिकल एग्जाम्पल एंड दैट टाइम सम पीपल डिड क्रिटिसाइज वैन द मारुति टाइड अप विथ सुजू की लॉर्ड ऑफ द कंपोर्ट वेल यूज टू कम फ्रॉम जैपैन सर एंड स्लोली वी इंडिजनाइज दैट सेम वे द मोबाइल फोन्स Yeah. Yeah. Take oh eight four. We'll take last two questions. Okay. So I'm really saying there are more questions, but but I mean, what we should do, and I don't know whether it's a good philosophy. The questions we could not cover today. Can we not carry forward to our next question answer that is on Friday? Yes, we can. Ah, uh, we can do that. So what? So okay. It's my promise. I'll ask Amir that those questions which we could not take up today. We'll take it. A, we'll go first. Try to those questions on Friday question answer uh, event. Yeah, let's la, let let's start last two questions. The time just flew up huh, because I did not realize that it's eight uh, four. Huh. Uh, Jai Ram, it's good good to discuss the very proactive benefits. Well done. This will help our India to progress and proud invest and partner in the nation's progress. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, if India grows, everyone will grow. more people will move out of the the poverty more people will start consuming more goods and services it's a win win situation uh, uh, i can't recollect a single country in the world where the country is degrown and the population has grown that never happens so i think it's in the interest of you me and everyone that nation grow and if the nation grow every one of us will grow along with the nation whichever power party forms the government what is more important as a as a citizen of this country that nation has to grow and and that's what we need so i'll give you classical example okay in 1991 that reforms happen there was a joint family and one uh, gentleman who used to come very often to our house he had a very negative view on the reforms he said And, and the reforms were introduced by Congress, not by the BJP. Okay, and he said this will completely destroy the company. We will become beggars in the world, and so on and so forth. And I said, this reforms will put this country on a growth path. I don't know how many people are aware, but जो बजाज का जो चेतक स्कूटर था ना, उसको आपको छः छः सात साल तक आपका वेटिंग था उसका. घर पे कलर टीवी लेके आने के लिए आपको ब्लैक में लेना पड़ता था ब्लैक में लेना पड़ता था कैन यू इमेज इट दैट एंड दैट्स व्हाट द रिफॉर्म्स डस दैट्स व्हाट द द व्हेन द नेशन ग्रोस द थिंग्स बिकम्स यू नो दीज आर थिंग्स आपको शायद ये भी नहीं पता होगा कि सिटी लाइक बॉम्बे दूध की जो बॉटल आती थी ना उसके लिए आपको वो लाइसेंस चाहिए था आपको उस उतना ही आपको मिलेगा दूध का बॉटल यू कैन नॉट बाय मोर एंड देर वॉज देर वॉज ए सेंटर्स देर विल यू टू स्टेन इन द क्यू टू गेट दैट वाटर बॉट द मिल्क बॉटल सो आई थिंक रिफॉर्म्स अच्छा से इफ द नेशन ग्रोस इट ओपन्स अप मोर अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर एवरी सिटीजन ऑफ दिस कंट्री एंड दैट मेक्स द द नेशन ग्रो सो आई थिंक इट्स इट्स अ राइट कमेंट सर फ्रॉम योर साइड last question and of course my promise that friday we start with those questions which we could not cover in today's uh, uh, webinar yeah the last question girish uh girish uh, uh, is saying sir thanks for taking up this present topic for webinar can you also list out some of the possible companies which may grow due to the policies of government in the next phase especially railways defense energy infrastructure sector regard girish sir i would love to do that but Uh, as you all know that i moved to the pma side of the business and i can i can't talk stock specific and i'm afraid but if you are sensible enough you will be able to figure out which company you should be uh, getting into see the theme that looks very obvious and i'll repeat for the benefit of everyone manufacturing is going to be the focus area if the bjp forms the government defense going to be the focus area railways will be the focus area ev systems is going to the focus area that a complete ecosystem of the charging and tomorrow 
Tesla is coming. Most probably the deal would be signed. Uh, and whatever pertains to that, uh, you know, tourism. You know, if you look at the complete ecosystem of the people, sometimes you know think of tourism only in hotels. The complete ecosystem of tourism develops. If there are more tourists, you need more cars. Am I right? If there are more tourists, there will be more demand for the QSR, quick service restaurant. If there are more tourists, there is a more demand for the tourists and employment, hotels and so on and so forth. So I think it's going to come to the ecosystem like uh, air railways, uh, uh, you know, and so on and so forth. More bus operators, more to this one. So this is all, railways also be the biggest benefit for more tourism comes in, am I right? So that's it. So you can completely play with the complete ecosystem of that. Defense the complete ecosystem, the railway the complete ecosystem. And that's where you should look at the companies and basically do that. With this, thanks a lot to everyone taking time out and attending this webinar. As uh, promised, the questions we could not take it up today, we'll carry forward on Friday webinar and we'll try to address each and every questions. On Friday, I'm going to come up with some interesting data also, but we will definitely carry forward uh, the question which are remain unanswered in today's webinar. Have a great time. Tomorrow is a Ram Nomi, so we are off. Thursday, I'll be in front of our PMS customers with some interesting insights. Uh, and Friday, again, I'll be in front of you with the Q&A. With this, good night, take care.